Hi, I'm Heidi Schlink, and I help women set up creative, spiritual, and financial self-care practices so they can open up to joy in their lives, express themselves creatively, and live financially independent lives. And I'm in my studio today. This is the place where I make art. It's one of my favorite places to be. It's full of little knickknacks and ideas and all kinds of stuff that I love that get me all ready to make art. And today I want to share with you just a quick project. I'm going to make a Mother's Day card because Mother's Day is on the way. And just kind of making it easy, I went on the internet and got a picture of the Mary Cassatt painting. Um, you can Google any images, mother and child, or use your own image. Anyway, I just printed it on inkjet paper, super easy, and uh, what you need for this project? You need a watercolor card. You can get these at Jerry's locally in Austin. Um, I'm pretty sure Hobby Lobby has them also. Um, alternatively, you can just use watercolor paper and just cut it the size you want and fold it over. But you do need a little bit of a thicker paper because we're going to be painting on them, and you need a thicker paper to accept wet media. Uh, so what you need is the card, an image, um, some kind of fun art markers. I like this brand, Micron, super cool. Uh, you need some paint brushes, a glue stick, and some paint. I tend to use the brand Golden a lot, so that's what I'm going to use today. Um, you also need some kind of embellishment, which an embellishment is something that's not flat, like photographs or paper. It's something that's kind of raised. It could be something like this. I've, I bought this at Hobby Lobby. It's a little sticker that's raised and thicker. Or it could be something like buttons or anything that you have around your house, a little ribbon that you want to, or bow you want to put on the top. So yeah, let's get started. So I'm going to start by just putting some glue stick on my image. I like to make sure and get the edges really well. And then I'm just going to pick where I want to put it. I'm just going to be kind of random and put it in the corner. When you're putting images down in collage work, what I suggest doing is to flatten it onto the paper, start in the middle and kind of burnish it with your finger and rub it down and then move outwards so that you don't get any trapped bubbles inside. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and paint the card. I tend to wear gloves and that is because I'm a painter and I get so many paint mediums in my brushes and they're pretty toxic, and I don't really like that stuff touching my skin. So I tend to wear gloves, and I'm kind of weird about that, but that's okay. So now I'm just going to kind of have fun just painting around the image. I'm going to try to cover up the corners a little bit to disguise them a little bit. And... One thing I love about painting is that there really is no right or wrong way to do it. There's ways to mix paints, and there are techniques that you can use, but there's no right or wrong with creativity. Your creativity is whatever you want to express, and that's probably why I'm an artist, because it's... Being in my studio is like one place I can be where I get to do whatever I want. And so that's kind of how I'm approaching this card, just kind of doing it how I want. And I'm going to be a little more careful with the edges because I don't want to have it go onto the back necessarily. So I'm kind of setting up a nice flat layer on this collage piece, this card. I've got an image, and now I've got some paint on it. 
And I'm just going to let that dry for a while. And then the next part is pretty fun. It's just about coming in with markers and writing some fun words and adding a few embellishments. So that looks pretty good to me. I got a little bit on the back, but that's okay. It's a handmade card, so we can guess that there's going to be some art supplies here and there. If you really want to get careful with it, you can put blue painter's tape on the edge and then you'll get a nice clean edge. I'm not too concerned about the edge, so I'm going to leave it like that and let it dry and I'll be back to add words in a sec. Okay, the paint is dry now, so this is kind of the fun part. I'm going to be a little random and just kind of go crazy with the way that I write the words on here. I like to make some of my words really big and some really small. And of course your words will be whatever you want to put on there. And it's kind of fun to change colors and direction. I hope my mom is not watching this because my surprise will be given away. I'll tell her to not watch it. So yeah, that, that was pretty easy and um, I don't know, I'm just going to play around with where I want to put the embellishment. It might be a nice way to kind of mask the hard edge of this corner, just kind of soften it up a bit. So yeah, or I could put it here. kind of feel like letting it go off the page a little bit. So yeah, that was it. That's it. And uh, I like to sign, well of course I'll sign the inside of my card, but I also like to copyright my cards. And I'll just write my name and my website because it's a piece of art. And I want to own that I made it for my studio. And there we go. Pretty easy. Happy Mother's Day.